So I had some people asking for more entries in my anti-despair reading list. Uh, I've got a lot more coming, but I wanted to just focus on one book today because I think it's a really important one. It is this one. It's Mutual Aid, A Factor in Evolution by Peter Kropotkin. Um, it's important because Kropotkin was a naturalist at the time of Darwin, and he had a major quibble with Darwin's interpretation of evolution. He saw Darwin as placing way too much emphasis on competition as being the, the driving force that uh, led species forward. Kropotkin had spent a lot of time in Siberia, and he had noticed that all sorts of animals, humans included, often their survival didn't depend on competition. It depended on cooperation um, within species and between species. And so he kind of lays this out. It's a science book more than anything else, but it became the basis for Kropotkin's politics. Now, Kropotkin's politics are what he's best known for today. Kropotkin is one of the most famous anarchists of all time. You do not need to be an anarchist to appreciate what's in this book. Uh, I do think that if you're feeling super disempowered, you could do a lot worse than looking at the people whose whole ideology is built around the idea of self-empowerment and about how, you know, it should be people in communities that decide what happens in their lives rather than uh, governments in D.C. or, you know, like monarchies or dictatorships. Um, but you don't need to be an anarchist to really appreciate this. For our purposes in trying to, like, combat despair... I think one of the first things you really need to do is actually get a little bit of a rosier picture of what human beings are. Uh, you know, it's constantly reinforced that humans are greedy and selfish and cruel. And you can find plenty of instances of this in the world, but you can also find really amazing instances of people just being kind and decent to one another. Uh, you know, that Paradise Built in Hell book that I suggested the last time really shows how in moments of crisis, humans come together and help each other. And I think probably you'll remember early on in the pandemic, you really saw people doing everything they could to help get each other through. None of this is to say that humans are inherently good or inherently evil. Uh, it's more of a wolf you feed type of thing. Uh, I think that if you choose to see the potential in humans as being decent, then you're going to have much greater motivation to work together to build a better future. If you see humans as a stain on the earth and as some sort of disease, you're not really going to want to see things improve. Anyway, um, Mutual Aid is a great place to start if you want a scientific basis for actually believing that people aren't that terrible and that we can work together to build something better.